So, you've gone and got yourself a brand new Canon Pixma Mobile IP110. Good choice. Let's get it up and running. Stand up the box like so and then open it up. Remove the Getting Started guide as well as the smaller cardboard packaging box which contains important bits and pieces for your printer. You can then remove the printer from the box and separate the printer from the polystyrene packaging. Next, remove the printer from the bag and peel off any orange pieces of tape. Before you discard any packaging material, make sure you've located all the items you'll need such as the power supply, battery pack, print head, the two ink cartridges, the installation disc, these information sheets and the MP101 photo paper. The first task, which is to install the battery pack, requires a Phillips head screwdriver. Remove the battery from its packaging and, with the battery holder placed down like this, insert the battery and then click it into place. Next, remove the battery connector cover from the back of the printer and slot it into the battery holder like so to keep it safe. With your thumbs covering the screws, push the battery compartment onto the printer, making sure that the electrical contacts line up. The battery compartment should stay in place by itself, allowing you to tighten the screws. Now you can plug in the power supply and switch the printer on. The battery will start to charge up. Make sure you allow it to fully charge before disconnecting the power supply. If you plan to connect the printer to a computer using a USB cable, don't plug it in just yet. You'll be prompted to do so during the software installation phase. Next, we need to install the print head. Open the printer cover and then wait for a few moments while the print head carriage swings into place. Make absolutely sure it has stopped before continuing. Pinch the grey tabs together and swing the lock up arm like so. Remove the print head from its packaging and then unclip the orange protective seal cap. Place the print head carefully into the print head carriage and then swing the lock arm back down into place. Push both the tabs in so that they click home. Next up, you can install the ink cartridges. Remove each cartridge from the packaging and again separate the cartridge from the orange outlet seal before placing it into the printer. Make sure each cartridge is securely clicked into place. Close the cover flap and then wait for a while as the printer prepares itself for use. This process might take a couple of minutes. Once the power light is lit up, you can then proceed to the next step. The final part of setting up the printer hardware is to perform print head alignment. For this, you'll need the sheets of MP101 photo paper included in the box. Place the paper in the feed tray, making sure that the cut-off corner is positioned on the top right. Press the Resume button and wait while the printer prints the alignment test sheet. Once this is done, you're ready to begin setting up the connection with your devices. Be sure to watch the tutorial video that's relevant to your device.